ne paukit jau. Want some snackums? That one is Gumby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's your name, isn't it, big boy? Zazzy is about nine years old. And she's very spoiled. We call her the diva. I am a mom of three. They're all grown. They're 34, 28, and soon to be 27. I've got a grandson who is 11, and he is my pride and joy. I just love him so much. Today, I feel um, a little nervous. I've worked hard through a lot of therapy, through a lot of hard work. I've really come a long way with it. If I can help one person realize that they're not alone, this has been a success. It's time. It's time. Yep, I'm ready. My husband had um, tried to kill me. He had tried to shoot me and luckily did not succeed. But in the end, he ended up shooting himself. And so in that process, you know, I lost my husband, my home, just everything in my life was just gone in the blink of an eye. It's a plant that I've actually had since Mark's funeral. And that's six years now. This plant is six years old. I gave up on everything. My kids, my grandson, everything. I really had no contact with anybody. At one point, I finally just couldn't take it anymore. And I tried to take my own life. The day that I went to the Y was the day that I got out of the Sanford Hospital. I had nowhere to go. I had lost my apartment because I wasn't working. The nurse had suggested that I contact the YWCA. Michelle was very quiet when I first met her. She knew that she needed to move forward with her life. She just didn't quite know the direction she wanted to go. They really saved my life because I don't know what I would have done had I just been released from the hospital and had nowhere to go. Being there and being around people instead of just closing myself off from everybody. Being in that environment where I felt secure and I felt safe and it made a big difference in, in how I began to approach things. My plants, they do, they symbolize growth. And seeing the success of them and the failure as this one shows, it shows me that, that I can make mistakes but still come back from it. When Michelle came to YWCA, she was in her medical respite program and she was preparing to have a brain surgery. And so our goal was to get her housed before she had her surgery. When I found out that I'd been approved for the housing program, I couldn't believe it. You know, I was like, okay, I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to pay off these bills. I'm going to be able to get out on my own. I'm going to be able to live and be again. It's so important to move women and children into permanent housing for their mental health, their overall well-being, their physical health. While I was in the hospital, they moved me into the apartment. Basically, I came home from the hospital. I spent a day at the Y. They kept an eye on me for 24 hours. And then I was able to go into my apartment. When recovering from surgery, you need to be able to relax and be calm so that your body can heal. Being in a shelter doesn't always allow for that. So being in her own space was important for Michelle so that she could move forward with her healing journey. I walked in and I, I started crying a little bit, knowing that 
I now had a home of my own and I could, I could breathe again. Having my own apartment has meant that I have a place for my kids to come see me. I have a place for my kids to come and have supper. I get my grandson almost every weekend. And I'd never been able to do that before. Michelle has truly grown in ways that is incredible to see. She has a light in her eyes that I haven't seen before. I've lived on my own for going on three years now, and I'm successful in doing it. I don't feel broken anymore. I'm grateful for, for everything in my life right now. Everything. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs>